I promise you this is the last video I will ever make on this topic. It's the topic that people hate to love and love to hate. It's definitely the topic that people love to send me hate about. Today, all my videos about tattoo stealing and tattoo copying will come full circle. Today, I will teach you how to copy a tattoo. A little bit of backstory. A few years ago now, I posted this video sharing my experience with having my chest piece copied. Little did I know my chest piece would be copied over and over and over and over and over again because apparently it's just one of those pieces that people love copying. This is one of my most viewed videos ever and obviously the comments are turned off because Boy, do people have strong opinions on this topic. And surprisingly, to both sides, I assume, it's about 50-50 if people agree that copying someone's tattoo is wrong, or if they think it's perfectly fine to do so. Today's story time is about someone who I found out a little bit later did actually copy my tattoo. But just wait until you see what that tattoo looks like today. So I am no longer at this point shocked when my followers, you guys, send me screenshots or link me accounts of people who have the same chest piece that I do. Of course, I'm still not flattered or happy that people choose to do this. And I'm definitely not happy about the fact that there are tattoo artists in the world who will simply trace another person's tattoo and tattoo it on someone else. But I am done wasting my energy being upset about it. I will just use that energy to educate and share the fact that it is indeed wrong. So about a week ago now I got a DM from someone who follows me who linked me, I think, a Facebook account of a person with a chest piece kind of similar to mine. So I decided to check out this profile and look at her chest piece or whatever was kind of visible in her profile picture. And what I realized was that she has not copied my tattoo. It's very similar to mine, but it's also quite different. So I was pretty happy when I saw this. I was like, wow, this person has actually been inspired by my chest piece. Because, I mean, when you see her tattoo, I'm not trying to like toot my own horn here. I mean, you have to be kind of blind to think that her tattoo was not inspired by mine. Which is perfectly fine. Which I've tried to explain in four videos on this topic that I've made through the years. So, I decided to message this girl because I wanted to give her cred for being inspired by my tattoo but not copying it because that is something that I appreciate and would like to show my appreciation to her. So I end up messaging her and saying that I think her tattoo is really cool and I kind of asked if it was inspired by mine because in the end her artist might have been inspired by mine. She might never have seen my tattoo in her life, which is also again perfectly fine because it's not copied. So I asked her, have you seen my tattoo, or was it your artist who was kind of inspired by my tattoo, or how did you come up with the design? And that I thought it looked really cool, and if any of my followers would find her and give her a tough time about stealing my tattoo, which in my opinion she hasn't, uh, then I wanted to apologize in advance. So this is where it gets pretty interesting. She replies to me and says that I don't know how long ago, maybe a year ago, I don't remember this. So maybe a year ago I had commented something on one of her pictures because she had in fact copied my tattoo and at that point I think the tattoo was only outlined. There was no shading or no colors or whatever and I had left some kind of upset comment on her photo saying that this is not okay, you shouldn't copy a tattoo, blah blah blah. I just wanted to make a quick little insert here in the video saying that obviously the tattoo in this photo here is not colored or shaded or whatever, it's just the outline. And if this tattoo would have been colored in the exact same way as my tattoo, it would have been very similar 
while if it would have been colored differently, it would obviously have been less similar. So at this point, I was upset that the lines were extremely similar to my tattoo, but they did add a bunch of details and a bunch of other objects to the design, and they ended up coloring it completely different to mine, which is why I then think that it is okay that they are so similar. But if this tattoo with these exact lines would have been colored in the same way that my tattoo is colored, I personally would say that that's too close to copying, at least for my taste. Now back to the video. Then what happened was that she, I think she went to her artist or somehow her artist and her redesigned her chest piece and made it unique and made it her own. So she had actually copied my tattoo and ended up changing it because she no longer wanted to copy the tattoo and she understood that it was not a very nice thing to do. If you look at the tattoo now, it is inspired by my tattoo, it is similar to my tattoo, but they are not the same. They are not identical and they are unique in their own way. And I just think this story is really interesting and a good way to, I don't know, I just wanted to share it with you guys because of course she did something wrong in the beginning, but she also fixed it. And I don't want to make this video with the point being if you accidentally copied someone's tattoo, you can change it. That is like a sub point of this video. My point is to show you guys her final piece and confirm that it is not a copy of mine. It is not stolen, it is different. Because I get messages many, many times per week asking me, how do I not copy a tattoo? Have I copied a tattoo? I wanna get this, how do I change it so I don't copy it? And this is just one example of how to change a tattoo and be inspired by it, but still change the parts of the tattoo and change the designs to make it your own. There are so many ways of changing up the tattoo and making it unique so that you actually don't copy someone else's tattoo. And I just appreciate what this girl has done. So major credit to her and her artist for saving the situation. I hope this video has given you a little bit of insight into the issue and how to solve the issue if it will happen to you in the future, or if it already has happened to you in the past. And a little necessary disclaimer again for those of you who might not have seen all my previous videos about tattoo stealing. The simpler a tattoo design is, for example, a heart or a moon or something that doesn't have a lot of detail to it, the more difficult it is to not actually copy that design. However, a design like that is not custom. It is not unique and it is not created between the minds of the person getting tattoo and the tattoo artist. There's nothing wrong with getting tattoos like that. And if I were to get a heart or a moon or a deathly hell symbol, I would never suggest that other people with those same tattoos have copied someone else's tattoo because they are not custom. But the more intricate a tattoo is and the more details a tattoo has, the more effort actually goes into copying that tattoo. You really have to trace it out from another person's body or take someone else's design off of the internet. And the more details a tattoo has, the more space there is to be creative, to change it up and to make it your own. If you want to get a woman's head with a stag beetle on her head with dragonflies and flowers and pearls and whatever, be my guest. I do not own that constellation of objects. Just as little as an artist or a songwriter owns the words used in a song. You can use the same words and you can use the same objects that I have in my tattoo, but you can't trace it and you can't copy those words and call it your own. Art is copyrighted and that is something that, in my opinion, should be respected. But it is, of course, perfectly fine to be inspired by other people's art. 
when creating your own. I know this is a very sensitive topic and I know it stirs up a lot of emotions in people. Some people agree with me, some people don't, but if I can get someone to possibly think twice about copying another person's tattoo through my videos, then I will be very happy. At this point, I feel that my videos on tattoo copying and stealing have kind of come full circle. I've made an emotional video where I found out for the first time that someone had copied my tattoo. I've made a video on what is not tattoo copying. I've made a Q&A video where you guys get to ask your questions about tattoo copying. And now I've made a video on how to go about copying a tattoo. I'm sorry for the kind of clickbait title, but it is kind of true. This girl did copy my tattoo and she saved the situation by changing it and I am very happy about that. That's all for today. Please stay respectful in the comments or the comments will be turned off if it spirals out of control like all my other tattoo copying videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video. Until then, have a super good one. See you later. Goodbye.